you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I got for you what you need in Madden 20 right now. So, a lot of people have been asking me, Poodle, how are you winning? What are some money plays? What are you doing? What should we be doing? And I was thinking, like, I'm not doing anything special. Because, am I good at the game? Yes. Am I amazing? No. Do I play above expectations? Yes, but that's only because I know how to play to, like, the meta of the game right now. Now, everyone's been asking me, who should I get at running back? Who should I get quarterback, wide receiver? To be honest with you, only one thing matters right now. I'm just personal opinion, only one thing matters in this game. One single thing. And before I tell you guys that, let me just get through this intro. And I'll drop all the knowledge for you guys. So first off, boys, if you're new to the channel, go down below and smash the sub button. By the way, we hit 4K subscribers. Are you kidding me? We were at 3K yesterday. We hit 3K like a day ago, and now we're at 4K. You guys are crazy. I like I I will never underestimate you guys again. If you guys are that crazy, let's get to 5K tonight. Everyone want every single person. I didn't mean every single one of you people watching this video. Go down below. Smack the sub button, you won't regret it. Turn on the noti belts, get notified every time I post some fire content. Boys, you won't regret it. Let's hit 5k by tonight. Also, let's smash the like button, 200 likes in this video. I just keep asking you guys, keep giving. So, please, thank you. Also, I changed up the end screen at the end of the video. So, when you get to the end of the video, don't skip. Let me know if you like it because I want to know if I should keep it or not. And also, comment down below if you guys agree with what I'm about to say. Now, guys, let me show you guys where I'm at in seasons, okay? So, obviously, this isn't anything special. I'd say, I mean, like, I guess anyone could get here as long as you play enough, but I've kind of went, I've went here straight. So currently I'm in this division. I don't know how much this means to you guys. I'm trying to give you guys to know that I'm not exactly a bum. I mean, I'll probably be an MVP and legend by like tomorrow, but I promise you, I'm, I'm going to show you, I promise you, I can attribute this to two factors in my team, nothing else. So people are like, what defense player should you have? What offensive players should you have? What quarterback should you have? What running back? What wide receiver? What tight end? And I'm telling you guys everything. But I really only care about two answers. I really only care about two answers. Now, I'm going to head over to my team. You can see it all. And I'll let you know what actually matters there. And then after I'm going to go over into what makes them special. And what you have to do to make them this good. So there's my quarterback, my running back, my wide receivers, my O-line, my tight end, my defense. Now, let's start off with what's irrelevant right now. That's irrelevant. That's irrelevant. That's been irrelevant. Mm, he's been good. My, my, my linebackers have been good, but that's only because I use them. But right now, as far as defense goes, defense is kind of non-existent. It could just be me. I could be bad at the game. But in my opinion, defense is non-existent. I look how good my defense is. And this is just enough to stay in games defensively. Like, I'm not kidding. I feel bad for people who don't have, like, a stacked defense yet because I feel like it's definitely harder this year. Now, I think it's also a problem with Madden having kind of bad zones right now. Because I put people, I put people in flats, and uh, they throw they throw passes in the flats, and no, no one gets an animation. I put people in a cover three outside, poke or whatever, and they throw they throw, they throw corner routes. Like, I just I don't comprehend why that works, and the same play works over and over and over and over again. But anyways, point is, secondary feels kind of iffy right now, so that's why I haven't really felt the need to upgrade my cornerbacks too much. Front seven, very important. Now, front seven's only important because the meta right now is kind of just getting pressure. And trust me, with Aaron Donald, Reggie White, Khalil Mack, and Clowney, I get a lot of pressure. Now, that's still just enough pressure to be in game. So, again, I take that with a grain of salt for people who don't have those players. Now, what's important defensively? What you need to be putting on your team right now? Defensively. I recommend if you have a good uh, linebacker, you go on to him and you upgrade him and you toss on if you have an ability reach elite and under pressure most important things reach elite gives you the ability to sack or tackle while engage your blockers that is huge when people run inside zone up the seams which is always gonna like marcus allen this is what's gonna stop marcus allen when people run uh, inside zone he gets a star activated his ability and he could reach and grab them and stop the, and, and get a tackle that way which is good because in past years once you're once you're locked up in an engage in a block they're gonna go skinny and run up the middle so this is huge it kind of shuts down the whole left side when people try to run inside or even pitches he kind of grabs them too now, under pressure is good because as he bull rushes the tackle, as he's always going to do because he's Aaron Donald, he typically tends to force bad passes. Now, again, the defensive end is not what I'm here to talk about. The, the pressure defensive is not what I'm here to talk about. I'm talking about offense today. Right now, my personal opinion, what you need in this game is two things. Forget the defense. Forget the offense. There's only two things in offense you really need. Starting with the O-line. With the way pressure is right now, you need an O-line. I promise you, if you're getting blitzed all game and you don't have a good O-line, my O-line is kind of struggling, but the only thing is Mitchell Schwartz. He's horrible. 
Like, Trent Williams locks his man up, Norwell locks his man up, Kelsey locks his man up, Larry Allen locks his man up, Mitchell Schwartz is in like Narnia. I don't even I don't even know where he goes sometimes. He's out of here. He doesn't play for me anymore. I need that new Lane Johnson that's dropping today at 1030, guys. Don't remember don't forget, don't forget to watch that video today. If you haven't already. But I need that new Lane Johnson. I need that new Lane Johnson, man. But the point is here. These are huge. So Larry Allen, I'm telling you, I notice a huge difference. When I run inside zone to the right side, right up Larry Allen's butt cheeks, Larry Allen is a monster. Jason Kelsey's very good too. Andrew Norwell's, he's okay. He's just the best left guard in the game. So I'm like, he's not, he doesn't have the best stats, but compared to every other left guard, he's good. Trent Williams, is a monster. Mitchell Schwartz, I noticeably feel how bad he is. I don't know what it is. And then George Kittle can run block too. So in my opinion, the best, the best front Let's call that the front, uh, let's see, three, five, six. Best front six of blockers you want to have, in my opinion, would be Trent Williams, Andrew Norwell, Jason Kelsey, Larry Allen, and then for right tackle, you don't want that new Lane Johnson. And that tight end, George Kittle's an awesome run blocker, or if a budget beast, probably like Delaney Walker. Now, guys, the, the, the line's important for two reasons. Pass rush is OP, so you need you need that time. If you don't have that time, you're going you're gonna to struggle to play. But not even pass rush, for not even for pass protection, for run blocking. Guys, now the biggest thing you need in Madden right this instant is Marcus Allen. And not just any Marcus Allen. You're going to want Marcus Allen with abilities and power powered up. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You, wanna, you guys want to see some stat lines in my game? I promise you my stat lines are like this. Pat Mahomes, 5 yards. Marcus Allen, 380 yards. Pat Mahomes, 15 yards. Marcus Allen, 340 yards. The last, like, I've went through about three straight seasons. And I think Pat Mahomes might have completed 10 passes. No joke. All jokes aside, might have completed 10 passes. People are quitting on me and sending me messages saying, Marcus Allen's OP, that's unreal, that's crazy, that's not possible. And then it gets even better. His abilities are what make him so good. So stay tuned for this real quick. Let me show you guys, let me, let me give you guys a little rundown of what you guys need to put on him. So real quick, let's start from the bottom. He's going to need zone run. Zone run gives you spin move, juke move, carrying run block for the first two tiers. Elusiveness, run blocking, spin move, and juke move. So Marcus Allen has an 88 spin move. So if you can get the tier four zone run, which is very easy to do, I just haven't done it yet because I want to put another, I want to wait until I get backup uh, linemen. But if you get him two plus spin move, he gets the, he, has, he hits the threshold for spin move and he almost hits the threshold for juke move. He's going to have, he has nasty spins. The threshold for spin, I don't think it's ever been reached in the first week or two of Madden. He was able to get that the first day that Madden released and he was out. Like that's, I've never heard of, I don't think that's ever happened with a threshold for spin. So, and it gets even better because his abilities increase the spin move. So if you can get him to a 90 spin, you increase his run blocking, you increase his carrying and his looseness. First off, he's not fumbling. He never fumbles for me. He can juke like Barry Sanders. He trucks like Marshawn Lynch. And he's the fastest card in the game, realistically, besides Tyreek Hill. But Tyreek Hill can't play running back. Now it gets even better. This is the glitchy. Okay, this ability right here is the great glitchiest ability in Madden history. Like, the fact that they even allow this to be in this game is beyond me. Don't get me wrong, I love it. Because I'm on. when I was on the receiving end of it, I was ready to go break this game. Now that I have it, I really don't mind it because I'm really good with using it. Evasive. It costs, a, I believe it costs 1,500, but it is so worth it. It probably costs like, what's 1,500? Like 80,000 coins, but it is so worth it. Faster animation for spinning juke moves, I promise you. Have you guys ever seen the show The Flash? Barry Allen, you guys know what I'm talking about? Imagine when he starts phasing and he just like glitches through things. That, that, that's Marcus Allen. I promise you, if you're in the open field one-on-one, -on -one, you score a touchdown. If you're in the open field two-on-one, -on -one, you're juking them both out and you score a touchdown. If you're in the open field three-on-one, -on -one, you can juke one, and the best thing about evasive, you can double juke. So you can juke once in and then once back out. So you can juke out the first guy, juke out the second guys. And they're super fast. The second, you just gotta click it once, literally click it once, and you send them to Narnia. It, it is the, I don't know, it's beyond me how they allowed this. Now, if you also put pin and pull on pitches and you can get evasive, it is, it's crazy. I think it's even better. His X Factor is Freight Train. Freight Train's like activating Marshawn Lynch mode. It's activating Beast mode. Freight Train is that pretty much the first tackle on you, you're going to break. If you stiff arm him, you're getting your hand in their face mask and you're throwing them to the ground like old school 60s football. So you get evasive, right? So the first guy comes up to you, you juke him out. Second guy comes up to you, you stiff arm them. You're, you're in the back, they tackle you in the backfield. You just grab them and you throw them right to the ground. It's not always going to happen, but it's like 90% of the chance it's going to happen. It's unreal. So evasive and freight chart pretty much makes him into like Barry Sanders Lynch. Like it is crazy what I've seen this card do. I told you. They stack the box. I run. They blitz me. I run. They run commit. I still run because typically when you blitz, you're going to get one guy in there. And if that guy doesn't get that's it got a blitz, you know, if one guy gets in on the run, if they don't stop you with that one guy, you're probably going to the house because there's no one back there to cover you. So that one guy comes in, he has freight train activated. I just run, I run him over and then I'm gone. I run for 80 because he also is the fastest card in the game. I running back on top of that. It's like they wanted Mar Marcus. Allen. If you don't have Marcus Allen for weekend league this year week, unless you're really good at the game, you're going to struggle. 
if you're average to above average without Marcus Allen, you're going to really get screwed around this week. But I got to get if you're competitive and you're one of the better players, you probably don't even need him. But I want him. And I'm looking, I'm gladly going to have him. So, guys, that is my overall advice on what you need in Madden 20 right now. You need a juiced O-line and Marcus Allen. Because, obviously, Marcus Allen could produce without an O-line. But trust me, when you get those... You know those games and you just have that top O line and you can oh you always can it's like Zeke it's like Cowboys and Zeke like you know Zeke's always gonna have a hole and he's gotta it's what Zeke does after getting into the hole that makes him special. In this game right now with this O line and this running back, I always have a hole. So once I take it, I know I can do my work with my sticks. But it's when I get in the backfield and I like to know that every run I can do I can get at least two yards. And I feel positive. I hate losing yards. So you know it's just it's a perfect combination, guys. But that is about it. This is what you need in Man 20 right now. I promise you, do not wait before he, they, they, they somehow patch him or they, they start dropping better defensive players. Right now, you could destroy the game. It's gonna, it feels like, what's that thing, Super Techno Bowl with like Bo Jackson back a long time ago before I was born, that game? That's what that, that's what that reminds me of. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, smack the sub button. Let's hit 5K subscribers by tonight. I think you guys can do it. I really do. We gained like 600 yesterday. Let's gain about 900 today, boys. We can do it. And comment down below if you agree with what I said or if you have any feedback on that. I'd love to hear it. Also, smash the like button, 200 likes. Turn on the noti bell. And don't forget to let me know if you like this end screen that's about to come up right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.